What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully, you guys having a very good day today. And today, we have it on the official Dragon Ball Facebook page. Uh, announcements, a global first, it seems to be here. Uh, we are getting three easy yays uh, for the month of October, which is actually very strange because uh, on the 4th of October, we should be getting the Gohan. Um, but we're also getting these easy A's. Now, this is kind of related to the Saiyan Saga. Well, not really, but I mean, whatever. It is what it is. But I mean, this is actually very shocking. So, again, this is going to be official here. So, you can see here that um, on the official Facebook page we have here on the 7th of October is when we're going to be able to awaken uh, these uh, transformation, giant form, or giant ape power categories, right? Uh, now, Goku, Vegeta, and Raj are very, very old school. And really, no one really uses them, but this is actually very good for global. And the reason why is because, as you guys know, later on, probably like in January or towards the end of December, we are going to be getting the extreme version of Super Battle. And one of them is going to contain, of course, the giant form category. Um, now, this will be a huge W for global. And the reason why is because that stage is very difficult. Um, so, again, these characters right here, depending on how broken they make their easy A's. This is going to be a huge W for global. So this is why it's always going to be a global player. Because when it comes to more difficult content, if we actually wait out just a little bit, we actually have an easier time compared to JP players, in my opinion. Because we have all these easy A's coming before, their, before the events are actually dropping, right? So, uh, yeah, this is actually very jaw-dropping. And I do like the surprises. And I do like that, that Dokkan is communicating with their player base through this kind of format. And we're not being, like, spoiled through, like, you know, the leaks and all that stuff, right? So... Uh, again, pretty shocking that we're getting these easy A's. Uh, so that means for October, you know, we have here, of course, these three easy A's. We also have here the easy A for the LR Gohan. Um, and we also have the easy A for the Cooler as well. So, so far, we have five easy A's. So, Global is going to be a very busy, busy time in Global, right? So, uh, if we actually take a look here at the Giant Ape category, uh, you can see here that um, this Goku, oh my god, I don't know when's the last time I actually used this Goku here. Um, are you a feature unit? How do I pull you? Are you from the World Tournament? No, you're actually a, a, a non feature unit, banner unit. Alright, so this is Goku in his Awakened form. So his leader skills be here, all types, um, sorry, all types HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Yeah, this guy definitely deserves an easy A. Uh, his super that costs supreme damage to the enemy, and his passive is attack plus 80% on start of turn. Turn into a giant ape when conditions are met. Um, has a chance of turning into a giant ape up to two times. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this Goku is just flat out not good, has aged out. He came out back in 2017, which is about basically four years ago, believe it or not. Um, and yeah, he just hasn't really been that great. I mean, I have never used this character. Uh, I think I have him rainbowed, but I mean, I guess I have to start working on his level links. But I mean, this is actually very shocking. Um, this Goku is part of the Low Class Warrior, World Tournament, Giant Form, Pure Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers. Uh, I, can, I guess that's a good buff for the Dragon Ball Seekers, though. Uh, we also have your Goku's Family, Yu, DB Saga, Kamehameha, Giant Ape Power, and Turtle School. Um, what's his links? He has Kamehameha, The Innocence, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, The Incredible Adventure, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shining the Limit. Um, so this guy is going to look up pretty well with the, with the Int Kid Goku from the Dragon Ball Saga because he is going to be a giant ape. So that means uh, they do have a lot of good links together, right? So... I mean, no, his easy will be really good, but I mean, uh, I'm hopefully they make it very godly because right now this character is not good whatsoever. So uh, I am pretty curious to see what they're gonna do with this character. Um, let's actually check the other characters here as well. So now we have your Raditz. Now Raditz is actually not that bad, but I've never really used them. And Raditz here, you can see here is that his leader skill. Oh my god! Uh, when HP is below 30%, keep a three attacking defense plus 30%. Oh my god! It's just terrible leader skills back in the day. Um, and he also came out back in 2017. Uh, his passive was attacking defense plus 12% per keys for obtained, so he was a nuker. And of course, can actually transform to a giant ape. Uh, he has a, a rare chance or a chance to turn into a giant ape up to twice per, per event. And then, yeah, this Raditz is just really old school. Um, this is very shocking. I'm actually very shocked that they're getting easy A. Um, and maybe this might be leading to something. But, I don't know, might be a small hint to the 7th anniversary. I don't think so, but, I mean, it'll be pretty shocking. But, yeah, these characters are desperately in need of an easy A because they're just straight doo-doo. Um, I don't know, throwing a little bit more damage reduction or greatly raised attack and defense. 
um, because these guys are definitely needed for, of course, Super Bad Road. And I guess now we can actually go ahead and take a look here at Vegeta. So Vegeta, I think he's going to be the best one by far. Um, did you go in 2017? He also came out back in 2017. I remember using me so happy to pull this character, but he just wasn't that great. Now that we have like today's content, uh, Vegeta has definitely aged dramatically, right? Uh, so he's just going with, of course, here, AGL type, key plus two, HP attack and defense, so actually HP and defense plus 70%. Uh, his super attack was cost supreme damage to the enemy. Uh, his passive is attacking defense plus 70% when HP is 80% or less. Turn into a giant ape when conditions are met. And the same thing as well, he has a chance of turning into a giant ape up to twice in the fight here. And he's on a lot of categories. So I have a lot of high hopes for this Vegeta. And I hope they do him justice here because uh, this Vegeta is very iconic, right? This is the Vegeta that actually went against Kalkin and Goku to actually beat him. And, uh, you know, this Vegeta definitely deserves, deserves some love here. Now, I would also appreciate, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen, right? Because they already, have their, they already have their animations. But I would like a revamp of this Vegeta, right? Or I guess later on in the future, we might, I mean, for sure, we get a Dokkan Fest for this for this Vegeta. But I would like to have another revamp of his animations because they're not the greatest. But um, this Vegeta has to be putting out for sure because he is just a very iconic uh, character, in my opinion, when I was watching Dragon Ball back in the day. So uh, he definitely deserves some respect here, right? Uh, what happens when he actually turns into a giant ape? I don't think anything, ha yeah, nothing special happens, right? Um, maybe if they give him also that key plus one mechanic for all the giant apes, um, transformation for the Goku and Raditz as well, that would also be really good, I think, uh, because sometimes it is a big struggle to actually get a super attack when you are in a giant form. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. Um, it is going to be a global first because if we actually take a look back here, uh, it says here for the international. Um, where is it here? Should be safe for the international. Should be right about here somewhere. But let's see here. Ah, there we go. In the international version, which of course means the global. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. There's not much to really talk about. But I mean, again, we are gonna get here. Of course, you know, the EZA is coming back, coming on the 7th of October. So. Uh, that's gonna be available, my boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. So for more videos coming down below. Again, let me know what your thoughts on this. You think it's good? You think it's you know overdue? Are you hyped for these easy days? All right. So without saying thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.